Hi there, Steve Better from Autodesk in the UK back with you and this time I just want to spend some time with you uh, going through the new launch pad for Product Design Suite which has been released on Autodesk Labs today. So those that have seen Factory Design Suite may have seen a similar tool available with the 2012 release of Factory Design Suite where we can access workflow based tools um, directly from within the launch pad. So the guys over at Labs have, uh, have created one for Product Design Suite where we have this launchpad tool which we can launch from a single icon on our desktop and it gives us access to workflow based um, tools but also gives us access to all of the applications that are part of Product Design Suite and as you can see on screen at the moment uh, it also gives us a list of all the recently used files from any of the applications that are part of Product Design Suite so in that list there you will have seen files that I've been working on in Inventor Professional, Inventor Fusion, AutoCAD Mechanical, Sketchbook etc. They're all listed within those recent files so we can quickly and easily access them. Within the options tool inside of the launch pad it actually lets us choose how we want to launch the 3D parametric design whether we want to create a new part or a new assembly and we'll see that uh, in more detail in a moment but I really just want to start with the reused 2D data because by using this workflow tool what it actually does it actually starts the import 2D DWG tool for Inventor so we can select any of the geometry we can select the layers that we want we can choose any data from paper space or model space and what that will do is we'll automatically insert that data into a new 2D sketch inside of Inventor and we can reuse that geometry to develop our 3D part. So what I'm doing here, I'm using another labs tool, the 2D to 3D tool, just to take that 2D data and quickly and easily turn this from a 2D DWG design into a 3D intelligent parametric component. Now if we head back to the launch pad, um, this time I want to create a new design. So there we've got the options of what we want to do, whether we want to open, create a new part or create a new assembly. So I selected to create a new, a new component or a new part. And again, just using the tools that are available to me inside of Inventor, just to quickly create a new component from scratch. I'm sure many of you have seen the, uh, the heads up display in the, the marking menus that we've now got inside of Inventor 2012. So I'm just using those to develop this simple component. Now if we want to create our docu or document our design, again we can create a technical drawing. So I'm going to choose the part that I actually want to create the drawing of and again by using the launch pad it actually starts us in, in our drawing environment and it actually starts the create drawing view or create base view that we can then continue to create the projected views and then actually create the annotations for those drawing views. So it just makes it really quick and really easy for us to actually access the content that we want to create or the, the, the drawings that we want to create. We can even go straight into our stress analysis environment, just go and find the document, the part or assembly that we wish to run a stress analysis on. And again, it opens up that data into Inventor for us and invokes the simulation environment so that we can actually run an analysis directly on this particular part or assembly. You can see we've also got the analysis guide over on the right hand side there. We've got all of our simulation and analysis tools up on the ribbon bar. So we don't have to go and find these because the launch pad is, as it says, it's launching these for us automatically. And then finally, um, if we want to work with some third party data, so we've got the um, the, the, the tool to be able to open files from various different formats. In this case I'm going to open a, a .cat product file and this is going to actually launch into Inventor Fusion where we can use the direct modeling tools that we've got inside of Inventor Fusion to be able to manipulate this design quickly and easily without having to have the need of the, um, of the actual model tree. We can just use the tools that we've got. You can download this launchpad from labs.autodesk.com and it's available today.